Hey, hello everyone. How is it going? This is Ashwin again. Welcome back to my series of tutorials on OpenCV and Python 3. Um, in the last few tutorials, we have learned quite a lot uh, basics of OpenCV3 and uh, numerical Python, that is NumPy, and Matplotlib, which is nothing but a plotting and visualization library for uh, Python. It is basically a MATLAB style plotting and visualization library. So from this video tutorial, we are going to get started with uh, actual image processing basics. Um, or I, I, it would take actually one more video tutorial for uh, us to get started with that. In this tutorial, basically, we are going to see how the subplot function in uh, matplotlib uh, works. So matplotlib is the library. It's a MATLAB style library, right? MATLAB style library. Uh, library for visualization. So till now we have seen uh, plt dot plot. Sorry, plt dot uh, show. Okay, and we have also seen plt dot im show, right? Plt dot im show. Now this example that we are uh, we are seeing here on the screen. Okay, so it is the uh, it is one of the examples of uh, how a plt dot im show uh, function works. So when you uh, press execute button, it just shows two images, right? Uh, but here we are calling um, um, the entire block of code twice uh, because we have two separate images and um, I mean we are treating a single image as two separate images and then we are showing them individually. So if I want to club these two Im images together um, like side by side then I I have to actually use this plt.subplot function. Uh, so it's plt.subplot. Okay. So this is one of uh, one of uh, very important functions because uh, we need to uh, we can use this function to display multiple uh, multiple different images together in a single uh, in a single matplotlib window. So let's see how this uh, function works. So for that we will require two two separate images, okay? Because one single image is going to be uh, going to be quite confusing. So I have actually an entire data set of images which I have downloaded from. Um, uh, from couple of um, uh, online sources okay you can find a separate tutorial on how to download this uh, data set okay you just need to go through uh, all of my earlier tutorials for that so let's see which one or which one uh, which are like good images for which are good uh, really very good images image candidates for image processing okay so now uh, we have this 512 by 512 image of a liquid drop uh, droplet okay so let, let's see its resolution. If I hover the mouse pointer over that, it is going to show me the dimensions. Yeah, the dimensions are 512 by 512. And then the usual Lena image that we are using, that is also 512 by 512. So the dimensions of these two images are same. So the look of the output program is going to be consistent. Okay. And also it will be visually appealing. So let's um, get started with that. So here for this example, we are going to have a separate path variable. And we are just going to copy the directory path into that. So just say, okay, path variable and let's use, and let's uh, close that string, okay, with quotes. Now img path one equal to path plus plus so this is going to can concatenate, uh, concatenate two strings. Uh, this plus operation is going to concatenate, concatenate two strings. And the same way we are going to have img path two. And finally, we are going to have img one equal to img path one comma one im read of img path one comma one. And img two equal to Um, path comma two. Then this we are going to use the default color map, should we? And yeah, and we need to convert the images from. We are just going to say plt dot title is Lena. Or Lena or drop liquid. Liquid droplet. So first of all, we are not going to directly uh, get into this uh, subplot uh, subplot thing. We will just check whether uh, the kind of code that we are writing is going to work properly or not. So Lena, we are not going to have any sort of color map because I'm going to convert these both the images from uh, grayscale to, uh, sorry, from uh, BGR to RB, uh, R, RBG, yes, 
uh, RGB. So for that I need to use CV2 dot CVT color. Okay, CVT color and IMG1 IMG1 comma. Um, let's um, use that thing CV2 dot color underscore BGR to RGB. So this is going to change the color space of the image and it will be palat pal palatable to human eyes, right? So now let us execute this code. This is very simple code. So before that, let's clear the console so that we can have fresh output. And let us execute this program. Yeah. So, oh, I guess the, I have messed up somewhere. Something what I have messed up. Okay. Sorry, I guess it has to be four. Let's execute it. Yeah. Uh, I don't know what's wrong here. Part two. Cool. Yeah, now it is correct. Okay, so the first image has to be liquid drop. I don't know where it went wrong. Okay, it's 4.2.1. So just let me make it 4.2.1. Yeah, and here we have the desired output. So the first image that we are going to see on the screen is uh, the liquid droplet falling into the pool of liquid. And the second image is the famous Lena image. So this, uh, both the images will be shown in uh, RGB mode, which uh, Matplotlib interprets correctly, uh, so as to be palatable to the human eyes and brain. Yes, so the liquid drop and Lena. So now we have two different windows and the program also works perfectly. So in case you haven't noticed, I have created a separate variable for path and then I'm concatenating that directory path with the actual file name and then I'm reading the uh, file using cv2.imread function. And then uh, we are just like uh, applying a normal, a normal routines to that. We are just changing the color space and then we are using separate plt.show functions to do that, uh, to uh, display these things. So now we are going to use plt.subplot, okay. So this function is uh, one of the most important functions that we can uh, use in, uh, um, uh, that we can use in OpenCV. So let's see how this thing works. So we are just going to say plt dot subplot subplot. Uh, we are going to have a matrix of um, uh, column size equal to one. Sorry, column size equal to two, and um, the number of rows equal to three. Sorry, the number of rows equal to one. So uh, the column uh, the column size. Uh, sorry, the row size has to be the first uh, the first argument to plt dot subplot and the column size should be the second argument and then the third argument is the uh, the position of the the position of the image to be shown in that grid so uh, whenever we call plt dot subplot okay for uh, this uh, these sort of operations like image processing so here uh, we are defining a grid of size 1 by 2 1 is the size of uh, number uh, one is the row okay the number of rows in that grid and two is the number of columns in that particular grid and zero is the position and the position starts from zero and the zero starts from uh, zero always starts from top left okay so once i uh, execute this code it will be more clear to you and this is like we are using plt dot subplot uh, we just need to use plt dot, sh dot show once and then we are going to use plt dot subplot second time here and just pass one as an argument so the position number one will be occupied by this lena image in this and we are using as i have told you earlier we are going to use plt dot show only once so now let's execute this code before that uh, we, we we are not going to clear console here because we want to compare both the outputs so let me execute the code and it seems that uh, there is some problem so let me check what problem is. Okay, so I guess uh, the position start from one. Okay, so positions in the grid to be displayed start from one. It, it doesn't start from zero. Yeah, so now you can see that your output has been arranged in a grid format. Here, here is the earlier output. So meanwhile, in between we had an error. So, uh, and this is the second output. So this output is like much more formatted 
in in terms of uh, position okay so in case you resize the window you will be able to see that properly okay yeah so once i resize the window i am able to see properly uh, here you can see this is 1 by 2 so the size of this entire grid is 1 by 2 one is the number of rows and two is the number of columns uh, so one refers to the first position so the first position is always top left position so there are only two two positions here the top left one and the next to that and uh, num the position number two is the next position so here position number two refers to now the image so whenever you are going to use the im show function before that im show function just um, use plt.subplot and uh, rather than using plt.show multiple times uh, in the end of entire sequence you just use this uh, plt.show only once so this is going to create a grid and in that grid you are just subplotting each and every image using plt.subplot we using the combination of plt.subplot and using the plt.imshow so there there is even a much better way to organize all these things so now this is a simple program which doesn't use any sort of like arrays and all so in case you want to use like a list of uh, these things you can even do that so let's see how to do that it's again uh, let's save this program first in case you are wondering where you can get the code, you can find the code uh, Find the code in the GitHub repository and link to that GitHub repository is there in the description of this video. So let's organize this program in a, in a much better way. So because this is going to be very easy if you have multiple images. Now as of now we have just two images, that's why we have just, uh, we can uh, write this entire block of code for each and every image individually. But if you have quite a lot of experience of programming, then you can even understand that we can just put all these things in a for loop or while loop and uh, sorry in a, in a for loop um, and we can uh, and we can then uh, display the stuff so let's uh, see just create an array or just create a list of titles so the first title is liquid drop liquid drop and the second title is lena uh, then we are going to have a list of images. It should be img1, img2. Uh, finally, we just put entire thing in a for loop for i in range of 2. And plt.subplot Just say images of es of images of i and here should it should be i plus one because the position starts from one uh, finally i don't know what is the error okay invalid syntax i have forgotten the column and finally we are we just gonna keep it simple simple we are just gonna use plt dot show to to push entire queue i am AGES should it should be I am AGES images. Okay, and titles we also need to change the title. So just say title of I. Titles of I, I guess it should be PLT dot title. Okay, so now this is an entire for loop for displaying this sort of uh, grid of images. So let's execute the code and see whether it works. Yeah, it seems to work perfectly. So this is going to be quite important in case you have uh, you are you are going to use multiple images for um, for displaying. So uh, from now onwards, we are going to get started with image processing. So that's why I thought that it is kind of important for all of us to understand how we can um, club together multiple images and show them in a single window rather than uh, scrolling through uh, scrolling through entire screen to see our output. So here, if even if you have like six or seven or even eight images. You can just display those images in a in a grid okay in a proper grid and uh, it will be like more much more uh, it will be the output is going to be much more organized and you can even in case if any one of you are using uh, matplotlib or python for in uh, any one of your scientific papers you can just copy these images and paste that uh, use the use latex to uh, use latex to format these images into your paper so uh, the images arranged like this organized like this um, can be very useful in during the presentations and all. 
So thanks a lot for watching this video. Please do let me know if you know a, a few more things or if you have any suggestions and you, you, you want me to uh, create any tutorial on a specific topic here in the with the combination of OpenCV, Python, NumPy and Matplotlib. Thanks a lot. Let me know your thoughts and suggestions in the comment section. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. I will see you next time.